Most of the functions related to the toolpaths can be found in the Machine tab. Before we select the tool, the machining strategies are deemed and only after the tool has been selected, they become active. In our example, we will discuss the three most commonly used 2D machining strategies, contour machining, pocketing and drilling. We will start with contour machining. Machining of contours is the removal of material along the indicated geometry at a specified depth. So, we have some 2D geometry and we mill around this geometry. Very simple machining. In my work, there is practically no day without contour machining. A part will always appear for which you need to program the contour machining. That's why it's worth getting to know this strategy. To start contour machining strategy, from Machine tab, select Rough or Finish. In the side section, we define the type of machining. By selecting vertical option, we specify that we want to machine vertical walls based on 2D geometry. That is standard contour machining. In the near future, we will choose this option most often. OK, I set some parameters. OK, I will discuss these parameters later. Now I want to show how this option works. Okay. 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 We have standard contour machining. I prepare material for simulation. Of course, I will show you it later with details. OK, let's create another geometry. OK. And set this as material. OK. OK, and let's run simulation. OK, we have standard machining. Standard contour machining with vertical walls. OK. I set different material. I need a bigger one to show next option. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Another option from type section is sloping option and by choosing the option sloping based on 2D geometry we can prepare the machining of a sloped wall at a specified angle. No need to have a 3D model. Side angle for example, OK. OK. This is done by generating the large number of paths. OK, let's run simulation. And we get sloped walls. OK. For the next option, I need a geometry. Next option is profiled 
for this option I need a profile let's create some geometry okay Okay, let's join this geometry. Okay. Okay. Select graph or finish and profile option. Okay. Max depth per cut set here 0 0.5. Okay. Pick site profile. Select this profile pick profile geometry reference point this will be this point the start point of profile and now select geometries select geometry to machining and accept okay and now we have machining of this profile Let's run simulation. Okay, using this option we can reproduce the shape of the 2D profile on the workpiece. No need to have a 3D model or shape tool. To get better wall finish, we can use a tool with small radius or a ball milling cutter. We can also generate a tool paths with smaller step down. It means the smaller the step down the more tool paths and the more accurate shape. Ok, let's check another option another option is auto z this option allows you to read machining levels based on geometry we must prepare the geometry properly specifying its upper and lower levels then when defining machinings this will be automatically taken from the geometry we will come back later and discuss this option fully and next option, the previous tool profile, works similar to the profile option. In the profile option, the profile that we had drawn in the workspace was reproduced. And for the previous tool profile option, the tool profile you previously used will be projected. Okay, first we have to use another tool select tool and for example okay we can use this tool let's prepare machining the parameters doesn't matter okay okay and now select this tool okay okay this is the sample machining we only need the tools profile let's run simulation and now we have something like this we don't use this machining to prepare machining program as i said we only need the tools profile okay again select rough or finish and select here previous tool profile okay 
OK. Select geometry and accept. And now we will get toolpaths that project the shape of the previous tool's profile. OK, let's run simulation. OK, it's look quite uh, good. OK. This option can be useful, for example, when the shape cutter is damaged and we will have to prepare the machining quickly with the shape representation of the tool or in the case of prototypes. Okay, uh, in the next section, geometries, we define what we want to machine. Selecting the all geometries, we define that we want to apply the currently defined strategy to all geometries in the workspace. Selecting the selected option, we specify that we want to apply the currently defined strategy to manually selected geometries from the workspace. And the partial option allows us to machine a specific fragment of the selected geometry. And we will discuss this later on an example. Okay, in the next lesson we will discuss general tab.